COVID-19 transmission rates are now at levels Utah hasn't experienced in more than a year. Top medical experts at the University of Utah say the Omicron variant now accounts for more than 90% of Utah's cases. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, this variant proves to be two to three times more contagious than the Delta variant. The chief medical operations officer at University of Utah Hospital says they've seen a surge in COVID cases that started Christmas Eve. Since then, the hospitalizations have tripled and the caregivers are getting sick too. Since Christmas Eve, we've seen about a 300% increase in admissions to our hospital for COVID-19. Doctors with U of U Health say the Omicron surge is sweeping the country with cases climbing sharply here. We've seen this uh, variant is incredibly infectious, so much more infectious, at least two to three times more transmissible than what we've seen with the Delta variant. Utah's positivity rate rising more sharply than we've seen with previous variants. It's just a really dramatic increase in how quickly these cases have come up with the Omicron variant. So they expect hospitalizations to keep rising as staffing at the hospital has been dramatically depleted. We have lost um, hundreds of staff in the last few days due to illness. Taking 50 beds out of service and postponing elective scheduled surgeries for the next couple of weeks. Right now in Utah, we're one of those places that is in the beginning of a surge. Dr. Shankar Swaminathan warns that coronavirus is transmitted through the fine particles that we breathe out that remain suspended in the air. You know, just to give you an example, if somebody had coughed in an elevator before you got in it, all it would take is for you to take your mask down for a second for you to get infected. So any indoor area with unmasked people presents a risk. With the positivity rate in our state right now... If you go into a, a space where there's you know, more than really a dozen people, it's almost certain that there's going to be some COVID floating around in the air. Urging everyone to get vaccinated and boosted if they're eligible and to wear masks indoors. They're hopeful that the Omicron variant will peak quickly as it has elsewhere in the world. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.